Hi students, I am Praveen Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing how to add floating point or fractional binary numbers. So when we come to the binary arithmetic rules, the different rules are 0 plus 0 results in 0, 0 plus 1 results in 1, 1 plus 0 result in 1, and finally 1 plus 1 where the results in 0 with a carry of 1. So these are the fundamental primary principles for binary arithmetics. Based on these principles, we are adding the floating point or fractional binary numbers. So our example is add 1110.11 with 111.10. So when we are writing this number, we have to consider the precise point or fractional position so write the first number, the first number is 1110.11 and the second number is, so while considering the second number, first of all put the fractional point and secondly write the fractional representation, the fractional representation is 1 and 0, after the fractional point we can see 1 and 0 and towards the whole number portion we can see 1, 1, 1. So this is right, written as 1, 1 and 1. So in the fractional addition, the floating point or the fractional point has a very precise value and meaning. So when we are adding this number, start from the LSB position, 1 plus 0 will result in 1. And the second one is 1 plus 1 will result in 0 with a carry. This carry is passing to the whole number portion and the fractional point should be put over here. And when 1 is adding with a 0, the result is 1. And that 1 is adding with this 1 will result in 0 with a carry of 1. 1 plus 1 will result in 0 with a carry 1. And that 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 will result in 0 with a carry of 1 and that 0 plus 1 will result in 1 and finally 1 plus 1 will result in 0 with a carry so we have no other binary digits over here so this one is put into the MSB position so the final answer is 10110.01 to the base 2. So this is how we are adding the binary floating point or fractional numbers. So let us consider the second example. The second example is 1111.11 is adding with 11111.11. So we have to put the fractional point and write the fractional numbers and towards the whole number portion write the rest of the number. And always the addition start from the LSB or least significant bit position. So 1 plus 1 will result in 0 with a carry of 1. And 1 plus 1 will result in 0 with a carry of 1. And that 1 is carried to the whole number portion. And that 0 plus 1 will result in 1. And put the fractional point over here. 1 plus 1 will result in 0 with a carry of 1 and 0 plus 1 will result in 1. Again, 1 plus 1 will result in 0 with a carry of 1 and 0 plus 1 will result in 1. 1 plus 1 will result in 0 with a carry 1 and 0 plus 1 is 1. Again, once again, 1 plus 1 will result in 0 with a carry 1 and 0 plus 1 is 1. And this carry is passing to the MSB position. So the final answer is 11111.10 to the base 2. So this is how we are performing the binary floating point addition. So consider one more example. The third example is we are adding 1.10111. The second number is, we are putting the fractional point and the numbers are 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 and the whole number portion is 1. So we are starting from the LSB position. When 1 is adding with the 0, that will result in 1. 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry of 1. 
1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry 1. That 0 is adding with 1 will result in 1. 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry of 1. 1 plus 1 will be 0 with a carry of 1. And that 0 is adding to this 1 will result in 1. And put the fractional point. 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry of 1. And 0 is adding with 1 will result in 1. And this 1 is passing to the MSB position. So the final answer is 11.10101 one 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 to the base 2. So dear students consider one more example. Our example is 1.0 is adding with 10.101. And while writing the second number, first of all we have to consider this fractional point. Uh, consider this fractional point and write the whole number portion. The whole number portion is 1 and 0 and the fractional portion is 1, 0, 1. Okay. And we have to start from the least significant bit position. So the addition always start from this position. Here when we consider the number 1.0, we have nothing in the third most LSB position. So while adding this number, the result is 1 is adding with nothing. Nothing means 1 is adding with a 0. 1 plus 0 results in 1. And 0 is adding with nothing or 0 plus 0 will result in 0. And here 0 plus 1 will result in 1 point. 1 plus 0 results in 1. And finally 1 is adding with nothing will result in 1. So the final answer is 11.101 one 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 to the base 2. So my dear students, hope you have understood this topic. Dear students, kindly go through these assignment questions. The assignments are add the binary numbers 11.110 one 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 to the base 2 with 111.01. One 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 one. The second question is 1010.101 one 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 plus 101.101 one 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 one. and the third question is add 100.001 one zero 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 one with 111.111. One 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 one. So dear students, in the upcoming lecture, we will discuss how to subtract these two different binary numbers or simply the binary subtraction methods. So see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.